Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Now Let's Review channel and we're gonna be reviewing this EV charger next. Check it out. All right, Jesse, this is a very expensive EV charger. I wanna ask you if it's worth it or not. Yeah, we're gonna kinda go through its features here and then uh, I think I'll let the viewer decide whether or not it's worth their time. So one thing I do like about it is that this is built really well. You are supposedly able to drive over it with a two-ton vehicle. Now we did not test that because then I was afraid that it wouldn't be existing anymore, but I mean, I have every reason to believe it might work because of the way it feels. Yeah, maybe. Um, Two-ton vehicle, unfortunately, a lot of electric cars weigh more than that. That's so, true. Um, you know, but if, you're, a leaf, if your friend's car runs over it, maybe you're gonna be okay. So this is the Pion Power EV Flex AV Charger. This should be able to do a max of 40 amps or 9.6 kilowatts. And this is a mobile charger that has the ability to be mounted. The other thing I like about it is this. A lot of times you're gonna buy a charger that has a 1450 NEMA plug and you're gonna be like, I'm all set. And you're gonna throw it into your car and drive to grandma's house and guess what? She's gonna have one of the plethora of other NEMA plugs in her garage and you're gonna go, oh crap. And so this comes with another one which will work on a 110 outlet so you know it'll work anywhere. Now it won't be the speed you probably want, but at mm -hmm. least it'll work. Now let's talk about speed for a minute. This is the 40 amp version of the Pion charger. Um, you can get a 32 amp version, which is cheaper, um, but not much cheaper. Now, if you're saying, okay, but that's not a big deal, right? Because if I go to grandma's house and well, if this plug isn't correct, I can just get the correct plug. And you'd think so, uh, but no. In fact, we looked on their website and you can't find oh, other you mean, oh, you mean this, dongles. Like, like the replacement for this. Yeah, unfortunately it only comes with the 110 or the 1450, which 1450 is fairly common, but um, this is America and houses were built at all different times well, when they and, were different standards. And that's if, you know, a 50 amp circuit, a lot of houses only have a 30 amp 220 circuit. And it'd be nice to still plug into that. This won't do it. Now you could buy an adapter, um, but just keep that in mind. You're gonna have to do that. Now, the other thing is if you plug this into here and you want this to hang down from the outlet, um, yeah, it's gonna stay, but over time it's gonna probably fall out. So you're gonna wanna use this that comes with it. You're gonna mount this to the wall. This will slip into it. And you can use this as kind of a semi-permanent solution for charging. Which I think is really nice. And then whenever you need to go uh, far afield and you wanna take this with you, you know, you just pull it right out of its case. This gets, this stays right on the wall. Um, so I think that that's a fairly good solution. And uh, overall, I mean, the charger does feel very well built. Yeah, so I wanna talk about why you would spend, I think around 779 is the price I've seen for this one, um, because you could spend about half of that. And uh, you might be wondering like, why wouldn't I just do that? Well, this is built to CSA certified standards. And so that means that that, uh, there's far less likely that this is gonna catch on fire. Um, if that's something that worries you because this is plugged into your house or your garage and something that overnight you think might catch on fire, you probably wanna spend the money to make sure that you're not getting something that you're worried about. And this does have a lot of thermal protection built in. So if that's something you're worried about, maybe that's worth it. Or if you're like me and you don't need three forms of thermal protection, one form is, is good enough for you, then uh, you don't spend $700 on a charger. I will say um, a lot of the other chargers that do have replaceable ones of these really feel like they're not going to last when you plug them in, whereas this is tested to 10,000 times in and out. And so it's really going to hold up to abuse. The other thing I like about it is it's small. Um, so when you put this in your trunk, it's going to fit. Yeah. Um, so the cable itself for this, I mean, this isn't really going to bend. You might want to pull this off if you're going to be packing it up. Um, but then the cable on the actual unit itself um, isn't the most flexible cable we've tested, um, but it's relatively small and relatively light. Um, so I think that it would it would pack up pretty fine in a, in a standard trunk or frunk. The one thing that really shows the, the quality and the, the build quality, especially of this unit, is the um, charger itself. This is the business end. This is going to be seeing the most use. Um, <laughs> you know, forget the 10,000 times in this thing. This thing's definitely going to be used 10,000 times. Um, and the trigger and the release mechanism are both one solid piece of aluminum. Mm. Normally this is plastic and that might not be such a big deal. Pretty much every J1772 adapter has a plastic trigger and a plastic release. And maybe it's not a big deal to you now, but Again, we're talking about years and years and years. If this part breaks off, um, the, the unit will still charge, but you won't be able to lock it in your car. And in fact, you'll be able to just pull it out. And 
it's going to have to rely on a fault detection system to make sure that it's not going to have any arcing or anything else dangerous happening. Yeah, can I, so can I talk about this? If this gets dropped, which it will, mm -hmm. also, you know, you just know it will. And this is made in Canada. And I think the engineers there knew that you're going to drop this. Plastic gets what in cold? Brittle. Brittle. So this will break. Once this breaks, uh, your whole thing is pretty much trash if you want to stay safe. So I know this seems like a minor point, but since I have used these a lot and I drop them a lot, and you know, even you might say to yourself, well, I won't drop them. Well, someone <laughs> is going to use it who will. Eventually. Uh, it can be a really nice thing that it's made really well. Yeah, and I mean, even all the way down to the, the cover, and you might be saying, Jesse, give me a freaking break. Um, yes, it's basically the same rubber um, stopper that you put on the end, but on this end, instead of it being um, something where it kind of goes into a housing, where it's gonna be encountering a rigid piece of plastic that's gonna be stressing it out all day, because um, I've seen these break off. We have some that have broken off. Yep. Instead, it's coming around this uh, stretchy piece and that means that it's not ever really going to have that happen. Right. Um, so it's just little things like that that really show that you know they built this for for quality and stuff like that. Um, so if it, that is worth uh, money to you then I think it would be money well spent. Yeah because I going back to this um, the fact that you're going to be able to charge anywhere is kind of important to me. What the fact that, about? well, I'm talking about that this 1450 won't plug into everybody's outlet when you go to grandma's house, but the replacement 120 volt will. And so that one time that you need it, that one time that you're like, oh, I didn't make it all the way to the, the high power charger or the all the way to grandma's house, you're gonna be glad that you had the 110 in there so that you could charge. The one thing that would make this better, in my opinion, um, would be if there were more replaceable heads. I think that Pion should definitely spend some time in engineering um, to source some, because if I could get, you know, uh, a, an other 220 plugs um, that could plug directly into this unit for say 20, 30, 50 makes bucks. Makes it very useful. Makes it a lot more usable, more closer to, you know, say a Tesla version. Another thing I really like about this this one on a lot of the ones that we've looked at that are cheaper you have to push some buttons to tell it what to do if you want to use less amps so if you want to go from 32 to 16 this one comes with a smart chip so it senses what it can give from the outlet and it gives you all it can give to your car so all the way up to in this case a 32 or a 40 amp depending on the model that you buy i don't really think that that means anything what, uh, what are you saying well okay so a lot of the other units that we have, I mean, first of all, a lot of electric cars will allow you to lower the charging amperage themselves. Okay. So in that case, this works perfectly well with this. Um, but let's say that you wanted to have this semi-permanently installed and you wanted other people to charge, you know, like your friends or uh, some, you know, somebody's visiting you. Um, and you don't want it to blow the circuit because let's say you have a heater or you have a, a dryer also running off of that circuit. If you could lower this down, like we've seen on some of the other ones, lower it down to say 16 amps, maybe that uh, breaker isn't going to blow when the dryer kicks on. Okay, so if that's the case with you and you have two things on the same circuit, yes, I agree, but most people don't. And if you do, you should probably be using like the Neo switch or something mm -hmm. like that. Most things are dedicated to one thing. Um, and if that's the case, then you just want to be able to pull the most amount from it. Right, but basically what they're saying there is it's going to pull as much as it can. That's just going to be determined by the car. I don't think that it's going to magically know that a dryer is also plugged in or is even running and, and try and pull fewer amps to prevent the breaker from tripping. We're going to be plugging into my Tesla Model 3 today. See how that fits on there? Fits on there great. All right, so I'm going to plug it in. Flashing blue, flashing green. So now we're charging and I'll tell you how many amps we're gonna be pulling. This should, by the way, be able to provide more amps than my Model 3 can take. My Model 3 can take up to 32 amps, um, and this should be able to output 40. So I should be able to charge my Model 3 at a maximum charging rate outside of DC fast charging. But what I also love about this unit is that unlike most other chargers, this one comes with an app. And so you can do scheduled charging, which may pay for itself. So if you have tiered pricing with your electricity and you get cheaper pricing, say that starts at 2 a.m., do you wanna wake up at 2 a.m. and then plug in your car? No. So you can set on the app to start charging at 2 a.m. and then uh, you'll be using lower electricity rate, which over time can save you a lot of money. One other thing to keep in mind too is that we are currently holding the 40 amp version of this charger. And some electric cars can't take more than say 32 amp like a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. Um, and so it's kind of overkill to buy the 40 amp version. You may as well just get the 32 amp version unless you're gonna be, you know, 
helping somebody else who has a, a car that can charge faster. Yeah, so do your research first before you pick out the unit. And lastly, and most importantly, if you watch to the end, you're going to be in for a little treat. We are giving this one away. And so if you would like to win it, head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash now you know. The link is down below. For as little as a buck a month, you can support the work we do here and have a chance to win a very expensive charger. So go help us out on Patreon and do that and have a chance to win. You have a really good chance of winning, by the way, because very few people probably even know about this. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Comment down below if you have questions about this or if you have ideas for other things you'd like us to review. And please hit the like button. It costs you nothing. You could have done it right then. It really does help out this channel a lot. We would appreciate it so much. It's like you watch the video 10 times again and again and again, and it helps other people learn about stuff like this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Now let's review.